The following is a special presentation of ESPN on ABC. Hi folks, I'm Dan Stevens, and welcome to historic Lambeau Field. At my side, my cohort, Peter O'Keefe. Peter, our game features one of the best wideouts in the game. Unquestionably, Dan. Look for David Boston to have a real say in this one. He's about as underrated as they come out there, but in pressure situations, he's one of those guys that just finds ways to get open and make the big play. Okay, we'll keep our eye on him as the game progresses, but first, the coin toss. It's heads. Orlando Mare kicking on the door. There's the signal, and we're ready. Mare kicks it off to begin the game. Davenport downs this in the end zone for a touchback. The Packers' offense will start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Driver catches the heater left sideline, and that's good for a gain of five. Brett Favre lived dangerously on that play with a pass into double coverage, but the throw was on target. What a pass. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Second and five. Ball of the Packers, 25 yard line. Green is at the 40, hunted down at the 43. It will be first down. Come on, Green changed a lot on this play, but it wasn't all him. Watch. Yep, he owes everything to those blockers, baby. They cleared the path for him. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. First down from the on. Driver gets a piece of this one, but that's all incomplete. Ball of the Packers, 43 yard line. Luther, Luther, Luther. Draw back. Green chews up four yards, and that will bring up third down. Jack Thomas with the tackle. Green takes it off the toss and runs into traffic. Tackled at the 47. Madison, Madison with, with the, the tackle. tackle. Fourth down coming up. Sam Madison made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. And this is nothing but read and react, Peter, which is what all defenders are taught. Great concentration to nab one shifty runner. Stepping up and doing his job. Sander takes the snap and punts it away. Drag down at the 17. Terrence Wilkins didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Dolphins get their offense on the field and will start this drive at their own 17-yard line. Chambers goes in motion. Has the rope right side and is well past the markers for a first down. David Boston faces down two defenders and comes away with the football. Oh, nice catch. Feel the pressure, Chambers. First and ten. They go back. They go back. The Dolphins, 36 yard line. Williams 
Evans picks up a yard on the play, and that will bring up second down. Ricky Williams powered forward with the football thanks to some initial blocking. Problem was they couldn't keep that push going for very long. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Second down, two tight ends in the game. McKenzie tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Mike McKenzie came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Well, Dan, we got an empty backfield, five receivers, and the defense is in their dime. Let's watch. Menace goes in motion. Feely puts his arm into this one, and it's tipped. Incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Darren Sharper couldn't have read that play any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet. Well, the D holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. Oh, it sure was. Perfect D for that situation. And it will bring up fourth down. Turk gets the snap and punts it away. Peels the punt at the 23. Tackled at the 29. Antonio Chapman got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Packers stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their own 29-yard line. Favre throws this on a rope, and it's complete at the 43. Finally stopped at the 47. First down. Donald Driver had three guys covering him on this play, and he still made the catch. I don't know if it was a good effort by him or a bad one by the defense. It could have been both. Oh, it's hard to believe that play worked. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. Green goes in motion. Greenwood makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Moreland Greenwood came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Green takes his fourth carry of the game and maybe picks up one on the play. Third down and four wideouts in the game. Thomas makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Fourth down coming up. Zach Thomas knocked that pass down, and he made sure the only one to touch the football was him. The defense forces fourth down, and even if they had completed the pass... It still would have been short. Yes. You, you have to run those routes farther in that situation. Sander gets ready to punt this away. Sander takes the snap and punts it away. Wilkins gets it at the 18. Brought down at the 21. Terrence Wilkins didn't get very far running that ball back, but on the bright side, the kick was pretty lackluster, so his offense gets pretty good field position anyway. The Dolphins will start this drive at their own 21-yard line. Four receivers line up as the defense settles into a nickel package. Chambers makes a tough catch, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. First down, tight end to the left. Chambers goes in motion. Feely throws a bullet to the flat, and they can't connect. Incomplete. Randy McNichol would have had some room on the outside on that play if only he had made the catch. Incomplete. That falls incomplete, but it would have been a minimal gain had they completed it 
anyway. Williams picks up a yard on the play, and that brings up third down. Ricky Williams used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Peter, that has to be tough to do. He used his weight to make the stop, and he did it against one of the most evasive players on the field. You got to guess a direction in that situation, and he guessed right. That's instincts. Feely unloads this one to the left, and it's tipped. Incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Mark Roman came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception. There. Well, the D holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. Oh, it sure was. Perfect D for that situation. And it will bring up fourth down. Turk gets the ball and punts it away. Brought down at the 16. Antonio Chapman got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Packers have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive as they start at their own 16-yard line. Favre throws a bullet to the flat, and the reception is made for a pickup of maybe a yard. Sam Madison not only cleaned the ball carrier's clock in the backfield, but buffed and polished it, too. Big hit for a loss. That's his second tackle so far. No good, incomplete. Sam Madison did a beautiful job on that last play covering the post route. That pass never had a chance. Incomplete. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Third down and five wide receivers take the field. Driver goes in motion. Favre rifles it out left side, and it's complete. Short of the markers, however. That will bring up fourth down. Reggie Howard managed to take him down just before he got to the markers. They allow a little there, but they do force a fourth down. Way to attack the ball. Sam lines up to punt after the three and out. Sam takes the long snap and punts it away. Wilkins catches it at the 40. Stopped at the 49. Terrence Wilkins did a nice job getting some yards after fielding the solid punt. The Dolphins offense takes the field, and they are already halfway there. They'll start at their 49-yard line. him behind the line of scrimmage. Al Harris not only cleaned the ball carrier's clock in the backfield, but buffed and polished it too. Big hit for a loss. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Williams gets the call again and will lose about a yard here. Chuki Nikwari targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. Good defense that's forced two losses in a row. That will end the first quarter, and it's still a scoreless game. Yo, what you boys got there? It's a pizzone. That's huge. Mm, delicious. Mm -hmm. So, no. It's back. The Pizza Hut Pizzone is yours alone. Over one pound of melted cheese and tasty toppings baked in a pizza crust. A big eat for the tiny price of $5.99. Or get two for $10.99. Tackle your hunger with classic meaty or pepperoni. Hey, Mooch, want one? Yeah. Order up. Get way more. Get America's favorite pizza, Pizza Hut. Now online. P to the A to the S to the S. Tell them who's in the house. Uh-huh. Tell them who's in the house. Door. NFL Fever 2003. For online football, there's no power greater than X. Rated E for everyone. How do they see through the stockings? How do they see through the stockings? They're sheer.
Right. But you're missing the point of the story. The woman's car is commandeered, stranding her miles from the nearest FedEx location. She's toast? No. Directly across the street, her salvation. Directly across the street? Technically, it was Kitty Corner, but stay with me. Is it a mirage? I don't know. Is it a miracle? Yes. No. It's one of thousands of FedEx Express drop boxes strategically located at post office locations coast to coast. Keeping the engines of commerce, commerce well lubed. Precisely. You're watching ABC's Wide World of Sports. Feely throws a bullet, and it is not real in. Incomplete. Pass interference, number 27, defense. The ball is placed at the spot of the foul. Mike Alcorn manhandled that receiver back there like a puppy playing with a chew toy, Dan. And he rightly got slapped with defensive pass interference. Watch the pass! First and ten. Watch the pass. Ball at the 45. Thompson goes in motion. Navies tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Hannibal Navies got himself in prime position to bat away that football before the receiver even had a shot at it. That is their fourth batted ball. Tell you, we've seen a number of good defensive plays from this squad. We sure have. We'll see if they can keep it up, though. Second down, one man down. Feely throws a bullet to the flat and... They get the first on third and long. Randy McMichael had three guys covering him, but look what happens. Incredible catch. A nice gain, and they easily convert on third down. Yeah, that was a good call. Williams chews up four yards, and that will bring up second down. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. Second down, and this is the seventh play of the drive. McMichael goes in motion. Fumble. Williams gets the call again, and... Kabir Bajabiamila delivers a punishing blow to the ball carrier there. And he gives up the football for the fumble. Great hard-nosed defensive play. Peter, there are many ways you can start a drive, but uh, a turnover is not one of them. No, definitely not. That was a big-time play. The Packers want to capitalize on the fumble and will start this drive at their own 25-yard line. Favre zings it to the right side, and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. Brett Favre knows how to spread the ball around, as you can see by this passing chart. He's getting the ball into his receiver's hands and has piled up 44 yards and no touchdowns. Henderson goes in motion. Single back. Green gains three yards, and that brings up second down. Morlon Greenwood with the tackle. Second down, seven yards to go. Back at the Packers, 43-yard line. 
Check him. Check him. Green takes the handoff and gets past the line. Driver hauls it in right side and they convert on third down. Green gets his seventh carry of the game and will lose about a yard here. Second down and four wideouts in the game. Driver makes the catch on the right sideline and he's just barely past the markers for the first. Favre zips it to the left sideline and it's tipped incomplete. Sharper was shaken up earlier, and I, I hear Susie Culber has a report for us. Susie? Thank you, Dan. Well, after talking with the team doctors, it appears he's got a pulled hamstring. They're icing the injury in an effort to ease the pain, but it doesn't seem to be that effective. The official word on his return, doubtful. Dan, back to you. Thanks, Susie. No dice, and it falls incomplete. Robert Ferguson looked like he was all over that one, but it just got away somehow. Tough incompletion. That's the third incompletion his way, Peter. Yeah, and he's starting to look a little frustrated down there, too. Chapman goes in motion. Marv rifles it out outside and he connects at the 16. Chase down at the 13. That will bring up first down. Brett Favre has little problem completing this pass. He makes it look so easy, and he's getting paid so much money, Dan. It makes you wonder. And there he is with the catch. Well, look, uh, you've got an easy job, Peter, and you made a lot of money. What's the difference? Well, the difference is i got to work with you. Oh, yeah. Again, a nice medium pass. He's been concentrating on those connections a lot today. Yeah, it's a nice range. Get you some good yards, but it's not so far out that you're not in total control of the situation. Green has his number called on first down and heads out right. Dragged down at the 12. Second and eight. Ball at the 12-yard line. Madison crushes him behind the line at the 13. Sam Madison was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. That will be his fourth tackle, and he's hitting hard out there in the secondary. Well, he's making them think twice before going his direction. Third down, empty backfield. It's intercepted. Tackled at the five. Check out the interception here on the replay, Dan. Watch how he reacts to get in the ball's path. Nice. That's how you make the INT, baby. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The Dolphins are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at their own five-yard line. Chambers goes in motion. Rips him down in the backfield, and the clock will continue to run. Ricky Williams just hasn't gotten into a groove and isn't finding running room anywhere. This has been tough, and he struggled to get four yards on eight carries. Second down, two receivers to the left. Williams gains three yards, and that will bring up third down.
Williams takes this one way out. The Packers take their first time out. Turret lines up in his own end zone for the punt. Turret gets the snap and punts it away. Chapman heals the punt at the 44. Tackled at the 31. Antonio Chapman racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. Packers could take the lead before halftime as their offense will start at the 31-yard line. Favre throws a heater right sideline and it's knocked away from the receiver incomplete. Patrick Sertan had superb coverage on that play. No wonder it was incomplete. The defense stood up to that play and shuts down what would be a minimal gain anyway. It'll be second down. Second down, three wideouts in the game. Gets the sack. The Packers will take a timeout. That's their second. You ain't nothing better than 10. Ball off the 32 yard line. Shotgun, shotgun. Check two, check two. Favre just rifles this one and caught well short of the markers however that will bring up fourth down fourth down and the field goal unit is on the field Longwell boots it from 47 yards out and and he misses this one to the right. Ryan Longwell is visibly unhappy with himself after missing this long field goal. Watch this. Well, he'll want to redeem himself after that. Question is, will his coach trust him with another long one next time? The Dolphins offense takes the field with the clock at six. Williams has his number called on first down and only gets back to the line of scrimmage. That will end the second end quarter, the second and quarter. it's still a scoreless game. We love our new home. Lots of windows, great light. But the birds... They're back. Yes, I hear them. Uh-oh. Why are these birds so angry? At least Geico makes bundling our home and car insurance easy. We save a lot. I'm going. I'm going. Ah! Hurry, hurry. I know, I know. For I know. bundling made easy, go to geico.com. It's different down here. for everyone. These 91s are here to remind you McDonald's McLean Deluxe is 91% fat free. No, we're not. But you're all 91s. Brain surgeon? Not. <laughs> we're here because McLean Deluxe is 100% delicious. With the Diet Coke, it even satisfies Big Jeff Wright. Right, right? Right. Right, right. It's 100% delicious. So why 91s? And then again, why not? <laughs> McLean Deluxe. Forget the fat. Remember the taste at McDonald's today. This Wide World of Sports update brought to you by Mobile One. Nothing outperforms Mobile One. All right, Dan, we'll get back to you in a bit. But welcome, everybody, to the ESPN Halftime Show. I'm Chris Berman. Now we'll look at our first half by the numbers, and I'll tell you, 
first downs have been the story here. The Packers should be way ahead on the scoreboard, but somehow they've let their opponent hang with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Amon Green would make the first guy miss, then he'd rip off a chunk of yardage here. The Finns still in the first quarter. A.J. Touchy Feely would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. The Packers midway through the first. Brett Favre would find his target on this one. The Finns still midway through the first quarter. A.J. Touchy Feely connected with his man on this one. Clotidis Hunt comes up big here as this falls out, and he's in the right spot for the recovery. The Packers on defense already in the red zone. Zach Thomas would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. And that's where we'll leave this one. Packers aren't able to get on the board, and it's a scoreless game. This Wide World of Sports update brought to you by Mobile One. Nothing outperforms Mobile One. We've all seen them. The makeup artist. The dedicated investor. Is to change your pants while driving. Multitasking doubles your risk of an accident. Do it a little less, and now Allstate will give you a bonus. Cash off your renewal bill for every six months you don't have an accident. Part of your choice auto, only from Allstate. It's time to make the world a better place to drive. That's Allstate, Stan. Are you in good hands? The Clydesdales, the symbol of Budweiser quality, of Beechwood aging, the choicest natural ingredients, and a genuine commitment to freshness and taste. One beer lives up to all this. Budweiser. There are some things parents will never hear. Mom, would it be okay if I went to bed early tonight? Things that would be too good to be true. Would anyone mind if I vacuum the stairs? Luckily, some things are good and true. Like the McDonald's family-sized pepperoni pizza. Smothered in cheese and pepperoni for only $5.99 or two for $10. Every day. No dessert for me, Mom. I don't deserve it. Family-sized pepperoni pizza. It's a parent's dream come true. And we don't care if you're bad either. The one-hour season premiere of Hearts of Fire. I love you guys so much. Longwell kicks it, and the second half has now started. Wilkins downs this in the end zone for a touchback. The Dolphins have been locked in a defensive struggle so far. They will start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Ricky Williams took his lone defender to school on that last play, making the catch with relative ease. Definitely a slow start, but he's finally got a completion. And maybe now, Peter, he has time to make his mark on the game. Where was he in the first half, Dan? Because I, I didn't notice him on the field at all. Second down, two wideouts on the field. Chambers catches the left sideline, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. First and ten. Ball at the Dolphins, 21 yard line. Feely throws a bullet to the flat and the catch is made for a gain of a couple. Feel the pressure, Chambers. Second and eight. Ball of the Dolphins, 43 yard line. <laughs> They couldn't connect on this one. Incomplete. David Boston had that one come right to him back there. You have to catch those passes, baby. That's his first drop of the game. And while every drop does hurt, you can't throw too much blame on him for that one. That would have been a tough catch. Third down from the shotgun. Get 
Feely rifles this one hard over the middle and the reception's made at the 37, eventually tackled at the 31. It will be first down. Randy McMichael almost bobbled that one away, but recovers and keeps the football way to stay focused. A beautiful pickup, Peter. Everyone on the offense is happy about that play. Definitely. Great call by the offensive coordinator. And it will be a first down. Barnett tackles in behind the line of scrimmage. Nick Barnett not only cleaned the ball carrier's clock in the backfield, but buffed and polished it too. Big hit for a loss. Peter, once he closes his grip around you, you are not going to get free regardless of how evasive you are. Not with that strength. With those guns, he could probably juggle bowling balls or wide receivers for that matter. Feely throws a heater right sideline and the ball is caught for a gain of seven on the play. Third down from the on. Conrad didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Rob Conrad looked to be in perfect position to make that catch, but it didn't come together somehow. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Fourth down, three yards to go. Mare with the 42-yard attempt, and it's no good. It bounced off the upright and then out. Alindo Mare joins the upright here. Let's watch this again. Well, sure, Dan, it's a little embarrassing, but isn't that what instant replay is all about? A player screws up, and it's our ratings grabber. The Packers stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their 33-yard line. Green grabs the rope right side and picks up maybe a yard. Brett Favre has been searching for a rhythm out there, and he's come up short, Dan. As you can see by these numbers, he's been having a rough day of it. So far, he struggled to get 88 yards and no touchdowns. Yeah, do it again. Do it again. Second down with Second the tight end nine. right. Ball of the Packers, 33-yard line. Favre zings it to the right side, and it's off incomplete. Brett Favre threw that ball to a receiver who had two guys on him. He's probably fortunate it was just an incomplete pass at that point. That would have gotten the first, but it's incomplete, and it will be third down. Third and nine. Ball at the Packers, 33-yard line. Chapman goes in motion. Madison tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Sam Madison managed to disrupt things. He got in there and he smacked that pass away. Great D. That is their fourth batted ball. Tell you, we've seen a number of good defensive plays from this squad. We sure have. We'll see if they can keep it up, though. Sam gets ready to punt this away. Sam gets the ball and punts it away. Wilkins feels it at the 30. Tackled at the 34. Terrence Wilkins got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Dolphins had their last drive stall out at the end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one, which starts at their 34-yard line. Interceptor. McKenzie shows why you think twice before throwing a pass in his neighborhood. Watch. Great presence of mind to try for the football there. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The Packers have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive. 
as they start at the 49-yard line. Martin goes in motion. Green loses about three, and that brings up second down. Ottawale Ugunli was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Madison makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Sam Madison couldn't have read that play any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet. They have really gotten after the ball as a team today. That is their fifth batted ball. Nice, aggressive D. Third down and five wide receivers take the field. gets all of his arm into this pass and the reception is made past the markers for a first down. Brett Favre doesn't leave much room for error on this one. It's either a great pass and completion or an interception. Let's take a look. Well, that's a great catch and a great completion. You don't see many quarterbacks thrown into double coverage like that and succeed. That's another pass that went pretty much down the middle. He hasn't been working the sides too much. Well, he's obviously very confident to be throwing into where all the traffic is. He's daring the D to stop him. Madison hammers the receiver and forces him to drop the ball incomplete. Patrick, Patrick Sertan played his coverage very snug, and as a result, the pass was incomplete. Potential for some nice yards, but the defense plays it tough. That will bring up second down. Green takes it across the line and gains about three yards. Third down, three wideouts in the game. Ferguson goes in motion. Howard tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Reggie Howard got himself in prime position to bat away that football before the receiver even had a shot at it. You know, as a team, they are batting down passes left and right. That <laughs> is their sixth so far. Wow, great anticipation of the pass. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Longwell boots it from 50 yards out and has it sailed just left of the upright. Ryan Longwell misses the field goal here. Let's watch this again. Yep, it's just a little bit to the side of the upright, but close only counts in horseshoes. The Dolphins were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their 40-yard line. This one will fall incomplete. Chris Chambers was frustrated on that play. He got open, but failed to make the catch across the middle for the incompletion. That's the third incompletion his way, Peter. Yeah, and he's starting to look a little frustrated down there, too. Second down for the on. Chambers goes in motion. Feely throws this on a rope, and it's tipped, incomplete. Hannibal Navies couldn't have read that play any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet. A nice defensive play will give him his second batted ball of the game. Yeah, great read there. will fall harmlessly to the ground and it's incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Turk lines up to punt after the three and out. Turk takes the long snap and punts it away. 
Chapman fields the punt at the 21. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. Look at how many times they've had to punt it away. They've got to put a few longer drives together and get into the end zone. Antonio Chapman did a nice job getting some yards after fielding the solid punt. The Packers haven't got much out of their offense recently, and we'll see if they can get back on track here. This drive begins at their own 29-yard line. Green will take the handoff and picks up a couple. Okay, all the tackle. Now we're going to get it this time. Now we're going to go just like it is. We're going to execute, we're going to stay strong, and we're going to get to the spots we need to. Okay, fellas? Amon Green has been searching for a rhythm out there, Dan, and he's coming up short. It seems like his timing is way off. He's working hard, but only has 30 yards on 12 carries. Second and eight. Ball with the Packers, 31 yards. Red, red, red. Stay going back. Marv throws a heater right sideline and it's tipped incomplete. Sammy Knight came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. Another batted ball and they have been attacking the pass every chance they get. That's right, Dan. You know, why simply defend the pass when you can obliterate it? All the Packers, 31 yards. Madison puts a lick on the receiver and separates him from the ball. Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Dan, this is why I love this game so much. Just look at all this stuff going on down there. Great moves, big hits, shrewd coaching. Everything's going on. These are the kind of plays that make football the greatest game in the world, hands down. Sander lines up for the punt. Number 86 to make the return. Sander takes the snap and punts it away. Wilkins takes it at the 29. Drag down at the 42. Terrence Wilkins did a nice job getting some yards after fielding the solid punt. The Dolphins send their offense out on the field and will start this drive at their 42-yard line. Thompson goes in motion. Hunt tackles him behind the line of scrimmage. Completed this hunt, targeted the ball carrier early, and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. That will end the third quarter, and it's still a scoreless game. Oh, look at Kyle Busch out there. Yeah, he is all over the track. I mean, what has gotten into him today? Oh, that cannot be good. Oh, unbelievable. Whoa, look hey, out. Wait, wait a minute. Is Kyle in reverse? Yeah, you don't see that every day. Okay, that oh, is bad, man. bad driving. Oh, this is not like Kyle at all. Are we winning? Uh, I thought you were looking. <laughs> M&M's makes race day more fun. What is Kyle thinking? Mm -hmm. Hey, who's this? Oh, that's Kyle. He aced his fifth grade geography class. Huh. You see, now that we're using FedEx to ship globally, I have to learn all the countries again, so I brought in Kyle as a consultant. Did you know that we have customers in Czechoslovakia? Actually, it's called the Czech Republic. Yes, Kyle. You are a lifesaver. Now, without Kyle, I never would have heard of that new country called Butthedistan. We understand you want to grow internationally. FedEx serves over 220 countries and territories. Dinner's here. Now Domino's delivers the excitement of NASCAR. And for more excitement, get two medium one-topping Domino's pizzas for only $10.99. Guys. Get the door. It's the official pizza of NASCAR. 
You're watching ABC's Wide World of Sports. Feely unloads this one to the left, and it's tipped. Incomplete. A.J. Feely is really struggling out there today. As you can see by the numbers, it's all bad. Up to now, he's got 110 yards and one interception. Third down, empty backfield. him way back at the 35. That will bring up fourth down. Turt lines up to punt after the three and out. Turt takes the snap and punts it away. Chapman fields the punt at the 22. Stopped at the 30. Antonio Chapman did a nice job getting some yards after fielding the solid punt. The Packers have been locked in a defensive struggle so far. They will start this drive at their own 30-yard line. Thomas hammers the receiver and forces him to drop the ball incomplete. Patrick Sertan stayed so close to his assignment he could have taken his calls for him. <laughs> incomplete pass. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Second down with two tight ends to the right. This is the series here, baby. We gotta stop them. Empty, 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 empty. Number 86 goes in motion. Walker catches the heater left sideline, and they get the first on third and long. With the Second down, just a single receiver on the field. Green has his number called on second down and rambles for about five. Mark Tauscher is the reason that last play was successful. He opened up a huge hole for the ball carrier, allowing him to gain some valuable yards. They move the ball, and that'll bring up third down. Driver goes in motion. Green is at the 30. 15, 5, and touchdown! Touchdown, Packers! Come on, Green. He's just plain rude on this play, Dan. He obliterates his tacklers by pushing them aside. Oh, that's how you do a stiff arm. You can't coach that. That's the first time he's seen the end zone, and you know it was going to happen sooner or later. Oh, he expects to have something under that TD stat at the end of every game. Go, 
Now the point after, and the extra it's good. Point is good. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Longwell kicks this one away. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. Not a ton of action, but they're not out of it yet. Their D is playing strong, and a little offensive rhythm could turn this game around. Terrence Wilkins decided to take it out of the end zone. Turned out to be a good decision, Dan. He got some good yards there. The Dolphins, offense is now on the field, and except for a few big plays, they really can't be happy with their passing game up to this point. We'll see what they call on this drive as they start at their own 27-yard line. This one will fall incomplete. David Boston looked like he was all over that one, but it just got away somehow. Tough incompletion. Another ball comes his way, and another incompletion. To come up blank so many times in a row is, well, it's got to be demoralizing for a player. Absolutely, but you got to fight through the slump and grab one to get rolling again. Williams chews up four yards, and that brings up third down. Third down, one man back. Williams goes right up the middle and gets tackled short of the markers. It'll be fourth down. Williams picked up about 12, and they get past the markers and convert the fourth down. Ricky Williams works it to the outside and gets a huge gain. That's a great play, great execution. Let's have another look. Yep, got past the marker and eventually runs out of bounds. Peter, I know you sometimes like aggressive play calling, but uh, really, uh, that deep in your own territory? Well, they felt like they were in four-down territory at this stage in the game, but I, I don't think this is the part of the field to be trying that kind of stuff. He's got the first down and a whole lot more. First down, 10 yards to go. Feely throws a heater and it falls incomplete. David Boston close back there, but no dice. He couldn't quite get his hands around that mid-range missile. Peter, that's his third drop so far. And it's getting frustrating for him, I'm sure. Yeah, and for the quarterback. Boston snags the dark right sideline, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. David Boston made the grab back there and then tacked on a few more. Nice play. You can almost hear a little sigh of relief after he made that grab, Peter. He's been butterfingers all day and has dropped some big catches. That's true, but I do like how he's kept his head in the game and he came down with that one. It, it's all about putting the past behind you. First down, the clock is stopped at two minutes. Oh, a lot of weapons out there, Dan. They can get you through the air or on the ground. Face mask, number 20, defense. Half the distance to the goal from the spot of the foul. Marcus Anderson Repeat held the face mask down. back there, but it was kind of iffy. That's a five-yard penalty and a right call. First down, goal to go. Perry goes in motion. Conrad didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. 
Mike McKenzie closed in from the zone and forced the incompletion. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Williams carries this one off to the right and gets in for the score. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. Murray lines up to tie the game. Now the extra point, the extra and point good. it's good. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Mare booms a beauty here. Davenport downs this in the end zone for a touchback. The Packers start this drive of the game from well in their own territory, and the clock at 1.50. Green carries it for the 15th time, and he's stopped. The clock continues to run. Look at the yards after the first hit. That's how you fight for every inch of turf. Favre passes a high, long one, and it's complete at the 41. Tackled, and the clock will continue to run. First down. First down, two wide outs on the field. Green dodges this one way out right and will gain close to six. with the tackle. Second and four. Rips him down in the backfield, and the clock continues to run. Third down, two tight ends in the game. Franks grabs the fastball. The Packers take their first time out. That's negative yards. Fourth and inches. Ball up to 44 yards. Far rifles it out left side and it falls incomplete. They will turn the ball over on downs. Junior Seau gets a hand on this one. Right there, that's how you play D. Oh, that's gotta be a crushing blow for this team. They needed to get into field goal range and they just couldn't do it. Oh, it's a tight one, Dan. Something tells me it's too soon to be picking a winner here. The Dolphins will start this drive near midfield with the clock at 31. Austin catches it in the flat and the clock. The Dolphins take their first time out. Second down, the clock is stopped at 26. Dealey unloads this to the right sideline and it's tipped, incomplete. Mike McKenzie came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception. They're icing it a bit right now but it looks like he should be ready to come back in soon. Dan? Thanks, Susie. 
Third down and five wide receivers take the field. Barnett makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Fourth down coming up. Nick Barnett came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. Another batted ball, and they have been attacking the pass every chance yeah, they get. That's right, Dan. You know, why simply defend the pass when you can obliterate it? Turk gets ready to punt this away. Turk gets the ball and punts it away. Chapman gets it at the 13. Breaks the tackle. Stopped at the 25. Antonio Chapman racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. The Packers start this drive of the game from well in their own territory, and the clock at 8. Madison puts a lick on the receiver and separates him from the ball. Incomplete. Sam Madison had superb coverage on that play. No wonder it was incomplete. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Second down. The clock is stopped at five. Zings it to the right side, and that will bring up first down. First down and four wideouts in the game. Makes a tough catch and is well past the markers for a first down. So that'll do it for regulation time. We're going to need overtime to decide a winner in this one. Lousy duck. Woohoo! Ew. Hmm. Trade you that teeny little butterfinger for this big manly poodle. No thanks, homeboy. Uh, you little. <laughs> what the? Presenting Sheba the Bearded Lady. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, crispity, crunchity, peanut buttery Butterfinger from Nestle. Want to go dancing? Nobody better lay a finger on my Butterfinger. This man right here is my great grandfather. He's the first cat herder in our family. Herding cats. Don't let anybody tell you it's easy. Anybody can herd cattle, holding together 10,000 half wild short hairs. Well, that's another thing altogether. Being a cat herder is probably about the toughest thing I think I've ever done. I got this one this morning, right here. And if you look at his face, it's it just ripped to shreds, you know? You see the movies, you, you hear the stories, it's... I'm living a dream. Not everyone can do what we do. I wouldn't do nothing else. It ain't an easy job, but when you bring a herd into town and you ain't lost a one of them, ain't a feeling like it in the world. EDS, managing the complexities of the digital economy. Hall of Famer. Top seed. Choreographer. Mastermind. Hero, world champion, pilot, all pro, entertainer. What do you want to be when you grow up? Rated E for everyone. PlayStation 2, the only place to play. You're watching ABC's Wide World of Sports. It's heads.
Orlando Mare kicking on the door. There's the signal, and we're ready. Mare kicks it off to begin overtime. Davenport downs this in the end zone for a touchback. The Packers offense takes the field and they will start at their own 20 yard line. Sertain tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Brett Favre has found limited success in the passing game so far, Dan, and he just can't seem to get into a rhythm out there. I'd say he's not very pleased with his performance. So far, he's got 189 yards and one interception. Hey, hey, what's Second and 10. Hey, what's up? All the Packers, 20 yards. Ferguson goes in motion. Marv throws this on a rope. And the reception is made for a first and more. 35, 25, 20, 15. Brought down hard at the 11. It will be first down. Donald Driver is going to make the catch. Right there, but that's only the beginning. Look at him chew up the yardage. That's another medium range catch for him. He's really found his niche in there. Yeah, unless he starts getting shut down, there's no reason for him to move out of it. Oh, look there, 150 plus receiving yards. He's been making plays all game long. Longwell from 28 yards out and they take the lead. Ryan Longwell kicks the field goal, but watch how close the ball gets to the upright. Man, a few more inches and he'd have made the highlight reel. Not the way he would have wanted to, though. And that will do it for tonight's game. The Packers come out on top 10 to 7. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. This Wide World of Sports update brought to you by Mobile One. Nothing outperforms Mobile One. Okay, Dan, thank you very much. And let's welcome all of you back to the studio. I'm Chris Berman here to bring you our ESPN Video Games post-game wrap-up. The Packers stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. A.J. Touchy-Feely would drop back and deliver a strike on this one ball at their own 33. Mike McKenzie is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. The Packers, after getting an interception, Britt Favre connected with his man on this one. The Packers again have it. Amon Green got the football here, and you know what? This was all individual effort as he broke off a big one. A 41-yard touchdown for the Packers. Packers out in front, seven to nothing. David, please come to Boston, found a soft spot on the defense and it worked to his advantage. A 35-yard play that set up a Dolphin touchdown. The Dolphins even the score seven all. Brett Favre would find his target on this one. Game tied, seven all. Brett Favre connected with his man on this one. The Packers have it again. Donald Duke in the driver was definitely a key as he was able to work his way open for a big one here. That set up a 28-yard field goal. Not a lot of action after that, and that's where we end up. Packers squeaked out a win, 10 to seven. Now let's check in with our player of the game, a guy who made one big time catch after another to help seal the win for his team. Donald Duke in the driver is on hand with Susie Culver. Suze? Thank you, Chris. You played brilliantly. You may have the ingredient your team needed to pull out a win here. What made the difference for you guys to come out triumphant today? Man, I got a hand for those animals out there on defense tonight. They were all over the place, hustling, making hits. Man, they put them back on their heels. It made it a lot easier for us on offense to get the W. Chris, back to you. That winds up our broadcast of the NFL preseason on ESPN. 
the worldwide leader in sports for 25 years and counting. I'm Chris Berman. Thanks for joining us. Saturday on ABC Sports, Jack Nicholas, Bill Mickelson, and Annika Sorenstam lead three teams from the PGA Tour, the LPGA Tour, and the Senior Tour. It's the first day of the Wendy's Three Tour Challenge. ABC Sports is online on AOL, keyword ABC Sports. Later, stay tuned for your late local news, followed by ABC News Nightline and Politically Incorrect. And down and oh, no. It's over, it's academic. This has been a presentation of ABC Sports, recognized around the world as the leader in sports television.